Captain America The New World Order has already revealed the genre that the film falls into, and um, it's safe to say it's unexpected and there's a lot of confusion because people don't get it. So let's talk about it. So believe it or not, this isn't one of those rumors or something. This comes at us directly from the director of Captain America New World Order, Julius Ona, who spoke with Deadline about the upcoming 2024 film, and he specifically wanted to talk about what's going to set this film apart, not just from the previous Captain America trilogy, but also every other film in the MCU. And he says that this film, first and foremost, like every Marvel film, will be an incredible ride from start to finish. But you have Sam Wilson now at the head of the team. And Sam is not the same character that Steve Rogers was. So when it came to figuring out who the villain was when they landed on the leader and what exactly he presents as a threat to what they're going to be doing they realized that this film has to be a paranoid thriller in its nature. Now, in case you don't know what paranoid is, no, it's not the Black Sabbath song, but that's a good one. Um, what it is, is somebody suffering from a mental condition of paranoia, meaning that they think some stuff is going on that might not be going on. Like accusations of somebody doing something or something going on that might not be entirely true. And of course, thrillers, well, I think most people know what a thriller is, right? I don't think that needs an explanation. And of course, what I mean by that, it's one of the greatest songs of all time by Michael Jackson. Okay, of course, let's actually get to it. Essentially, a thriller film involves the plot being around crime and espionage, and it can get really dark sometimes. So if you combine the two, you have a paranoid thriller. You have a film that's going to involve crime and a level of espionage, which always connects with Captain America. But in this way, it's going to involve the leader, who they've already said is a frightening character, that's going to lean into more of the horror element. So you can see that they're building up a different type of Captain America movie that's going to honestly turn a lot of heads. Because when they look at it, they're going to expect, oh, Captain America, right? I know what I'm getting. And then you're going to look at this and you're going to see a dude with a forehead that's about eight times bigger than a normal human. His brain is constantly pulsing. He's green. And Captain America is literally fighting everybody because there's a lot of mistrust and things going on in the Marvel world. Sounds pretty amazing. 